Hello all and welcome back. This is Philemon with another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. This time with video. Yay! I pushed a button. Ah. Well, things happen. Mistakes were made. We move on and learn from them. Uh, I can be far more certain this time that I have video. Uh, so let's do the thing. And we're starting a little bit under duress because this uh, hammer bro really wants to hammer me. Okay. Uh, just trying to think. Is there anything that I want to get done on the overworld map before I enter this pipe? I don't think so. Yeah. Because here we go. This is basically Oops. Um, this is basically the end of the game. Uh, we'll see how far I get this time, but I don't think I'm going to make it quite to the final boss because there's a whole lot of dialogue and stuff that happens during the final boss fight that could take a significant portion of time. Which is okay. The problem is that if you were to fail, you have to watch it all again. Um, which is frustrating. Also, the fog is frustrating. There we go. Jeez, took one of them out. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so... We'll see what happens. Uh, a little sad to see this game be over, not gonna lie. Uh, it does free me up to play something else, which I think I'm going to have a lot of fun at. Uh, anyone who's been paying attention would know that I have also been playing Darksiders as kind of my swap between two games. Uh, I appreciate the idea of being able to finish whatever game that I was playing, so after this, I'm probably going to be switching not to another Darksiders, because that would feel really weird to try and balance the control schemes in my head, but there's a different game that I've been wanting to try. Uh, I heard the story is mostly mediocre, but the gameplay is a whole lot of fun. Uh, I will be revealing that in due course, but for now, time to step on the pedestal for the last time. It all come down to this. Hurry right, now, Mario. Hold off the last crystal star. Oh, Goombella, uh, Goombella teleported. Here we go. There they all are, the fruits of our labor. And for whatever reason, they had to go with diamond uh, and then crystal at the end, which are very, very similarly colored. Not entirely sure what the idea was there. Look, the door. Light star, green star, orange star, red star, blue star, another orange star, pink star. I guess it was yellow than orange. Whatever. Whoa! Yeah! Uh... That looks... inviting. At long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadow has been opened. Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world and I can no longer take pictures of her, you must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm. 
Come on, Mario! All right, here we go. Uh, I will say, I'm probably gonna break this up into two parts. There's a fairly good midpoint fight that I know of in here. Uh, it depends on how long it takes me to get there. But after we get to that, in chapter eight, the Thousand Year Door. Last time we get to see our impossible four sided coin. So, yes, after the end of the game, I do very much plan on taking on the challenge of the Pit of a Hundred Trials, all in uh, only hammer mode. So, that'll be interesting. But I might do some kind of urbane side questing before that that I really don't care to show on screen because it's it's more just going around the world and kind of talking to people. It's nothing really all that important or interesting. But here we go. Ugh, this place is freaky. But we don't have a choice, Mario. We've got to get in there and save Peach before this gets out of hand. Come on, Mario! Hey, do it. Okay. Get our first set of challenges. Stopwatch. Nope. I think these are swoopula. No, the other ones were swoopulas. Are these swampires? All I can say is it's nice that they don't have a ceiling to hang off of, so you don't have to do something weird like uh, using the Quake Hammer in order to knock them off their perch first. Hey, uh, that's a Swoopula! Ah, I had it right the first time. An airborne, blood-sucking, bat-like thing. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. As if losing HP wasn't bad enough, this little creep adds yours to its own. Oh, totally, totally gross. Don't let it bite me, Mario. Oh, then I probably shouldn't have put you out in front. Yes, yes, I know I can't jump. Uh, why not? Well, this was probably dumb. Oh, well. But I make it stylish. Ow. Okay, yep. Well, luckily it's still within the range for her to be able to knock it out. Ugh. <sighs> All right, go away. Thank you. And next. Quacha. Nice. I do so love getting experience. It means more badges. Must have all of the badges. I cannot possibly fathom how ridiculously long it would take to actually be able to equip all of the badges. Nice. If only I could have gotten that on Goombella. Uh, who? No rock. Bad rock. Bad Goomba. Uh. Spread the love, baby. Just spread the love. Nice. Ow. Okay, well, it didn't do him go any good anyway. Nice! Almost a full heal. Okay. And we finish him off. Got one lucky, perfect block doing excellent work. It, 
I don't know why. Well, no, I want. I need the flowers. The flowers are important. The money is just beyond not important anymore. Booze sheet. You know how I feel about the booze sheets. Again, it's not really that it would have done me any good, you know. It's not like I have a or oh nice. Uh, it might have lengthened the fight by a turn at most. I'm truly far more afraid of things like Dizzy Dial's Spite Powder and uh, the Stopwatch Sleepy Sheep. Oh, now I remember what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to look at how much of a buff the Feeling Fine badges were. Because if they do more than they say on the tin, then they're great to equip, but if they don't... Really no point in ever using them. Give me the FP. Uh, flower Finder. Doing its job in spades. Okay. We should hear some explosion noises. Ooh, too many. Yeah, we can absolutely... No, I... Do not want your fire flower. My fire flower anymore. Bam! Surprise! Oh yeah, and then we get the frustration of these guys still sticking out on the floor after they've been knocked down. So you actually have to throw a ha I think you actually have to throw a hammer over them in order to hit the next one in line. The only way to get rid of them fully is to... Oh! Well, okay. Actually, that still works. Uh... Is to blow them up. That's a Dry Bones! Uh, it's a former Koopa whose spirit animates its bones. Eek, that's so freaky! Max HP is 8, attack is 5, and defense is 2. Uh, when its HP goes down to 0, it collapses into a pile, but it'll eventually rise again. Iron explosions will put a permanent end to it getting back up, though. Uh, dry bones will sometimes build friends if it feels it's outnumbered. If you don't take them all out close together, they'll just keep coming back. Let's wipe them out all at once and quick. These things totally freak me out. Yep. Didn't waste any time doing that, now did you? Wunderbar. Uh, okay. So how best... Ah! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Ooh! More and more glad every time that I actually equip that. Jeez! Ow! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! <laughs> you know, I never would have normally put stock in Fire Drive as an actual attack, but apparently it's good for clearing out dry bones. Okay. Now, in this situation, it typically would be, con or I would typically consider the best move to clear out the things that do not regenerate first. There is an art to this. Um, it's all about efficient, or removing enemies from the screen as efficiently as possible without letting them. Uh, 
replenish themselves. Ow, darn it. Okay, well, so much for efficiency. Um, you shouldn't get back up after one turn, right? No, actually, yeah, I'll just leave it like that. The question is, do you try and make a friend? That would be the thing that would be very annoying. You do not. Excellent. Mario's health not looking the best. Uh, okay, I'm just normal hammer. Take you out. Mario's health not looking the best, but only two points away from the next level up. So one fight, not that big a deal. Hey, a little bit of health. Nice. What? Get dirt? You get there. Nah. -ha. <laughs> Okay. Bonesy boys. Bonesy boys. Beat the fire. Okay. And then again, maybe a little bit of overkill, but just guaranteeing that he's knocked down. Oh, so close. Aha! Eat lightning. Okay, and because it took one damage, that's a guarantee. Also important to note that he lost the fire. Um, I'm gonna say this condition. He lost the burning condition when he was not uh, down. So fire drive is good. But you want it to be the or the burn to be the last hit if possible. Looks like so things to keep in mind. Yes. Okay. Uh, I can equip more badges. Ooh, lots of badges. I could equip. I could equip this. And then just wait one more level, one more level for fire, for Heartfinder, maybe. Or defend. Um. Uh, the temptations are strong. Another flower saver plus something else. Piercing, yeah, not great. just become stronger. Unleash more power. Can't resist. Can't resist. Simply can't resist. Ah. Oh my. Do do do. Fire drive. Yeah, so now the weird but best tactical decision, I think, is actually to stomp on this guy. Ow. Ow. Because then only the guy in the middle survives, is still burned, and... One hit with the hammer, and he's gone. Bam. Oh, I hear a cannon. Stinking golden bill blasters. Oh good, it is enough to knock them out in one hit, so it's probably better for me to just enter each combat with a... with a hammer than try and dodge or be fancy. That's a bombshell, Bill! Be Bill Blaster, shoot these things repeatedly. Max HP is 3, attack is 6, and defense is 2. 
its attack is high, but its HP is low, and so take it out before it takes you out. And again, if you focus on these guys, you'll never win! Smack that P-Bill Blaster! I would if, you know, he was in the same combat as these guys. But I gotta fight my way all the way down the dang hallway before I can even get to him. Ah, uh, there's a heart there. Oh! I saw the animation of the hammer go out. I call nonsense. Oh, and it just gives me dodgy, please. Don't be tempted, do not be tempted. There we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there are certain hallways where you can walk perfectly in between the two bullet bills. I just don't feel like chancing it right now. Don't do it. So I'm just gonna make slow and steady progress. And not have to worry about it. Nickel and diming my way towards that next level up. Also, by paying attention a little bit to the drops here, these guys obviously don't get points, and it would be absolutely ridiculous of them to put coins as a potential drop uh, for these guys, simply because you could farm them forever, uh, and it would be an easy way to farm money. Besides, that's besides the point, though. Um, what you can see is that the drop rate for hearts and flowers is relatively unchanged. So, as a part of that, you... <sighs> the fact that I'm wearing the flower saver badge is... or the flower finder badge is really apparent with that. So kind of gives an idea of just how many additional flowers uh, you get after battle. Whereas normally you might get you might get one for defeating these. I'm guaranteed one more often two and then occasionally three. It's amazing. <clears throat> That's a B Bill blaster. It fires bombshell bills. Sorry about the abbreviation. I my book ran out of characters in order to fit it all in one line so that we could ha uh, keep the animation consistent for all of them. Uh, max HP is 10, defense is 4. Uh, it's really, really tough. Yeah, hard to hurt this guy. Thing is, if you don't take it out, it'll keep shooting you or shooting bombshell bills at you. So you gotta figure out a way to beat it and fast. Well, apparently two strikes from a normal hammer takes it out. Uh, issue becomes that its buddy is just gonna be able to spit out two of the bombshell bills each turn. Or it can be dumb and only do one. Oh my. Maybe I can be dumb and not take into full account that it has two defense. My bad. Oof! Lucky! Nice. Alright, so... Nope. Well, I can drop this anytime I want, but I choose not to. Excellent. And, as you can see, my decision to put on one additional power is already paying off. Flowers, 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 flowers. Nice. Ooh, badge, right. Uh, Lupula. Oh, I came at that from the wrong side. 
that way, right? All or nothing. That is a scary badge. Sure, you get additional damage for uh, getting your timings correct. But if you miss a timing, you do absolutely no damage. So, like, I felt like I had missed the timing on uh, that hammer throw. So if I had just equipped it, I would not have done any damage to that swoopula. Oop. Missed it by that much. Also, notice that these guys are being taken out in one hit. I feel completely justified. Nice. We're already almost halfway to our next level up. Just need to very gently... Okay, well, that's not happening. Okay, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, all right. And now some of the fun stuff. We got fire bars and we got... I forget if they're still called bubbles. And I think I might take it out in one hit. I won't get to know. I, st I get to know. Okay, so they have more than nine health. Uh, what are these called? We had... That's a phantom ember! It's an angry spirit born of hatred and confusion. So, um, it's not too cool with this. I'm not too cool with this thing. <laughs> Black. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Attacks you with spirit flames, you'll catch on fire. Uh, let's send this ghoul back to the grave, okay? Please. Okay. Not a problem. Goodbye. And... Booze sheet. I refuse to take it on principle. Right? 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 Nice. Okay, this is just... Right, right. Okay. So this is a hallway that is made to be similar to one that we encountered in Hooktail Castle. Gee, where have I seen this setup before? <laughs> None shall pass by. Let those who were disturbed or sleep fall into the depths of endless darkness. Oh. Uh oh. Eek! Very the intruder never find the key to this door. And a little bit of a unique circumstance where this time, uh, the other bones are trying to push against you, so the only way to move forward is to uh, bash them out of the way. Come on, there you! Come on! Get over here! Hey, did, I'm stuck on a relatively 2D plane with my ability to swing my hammer. Come back! Gotcha! Ah! You have many friends. Hmm. Well, I have many fire! <laughs> wow, the diminishing returns on that. Oh, come on! Uh, ooh! Helpful, but I don't have enough root and booze sheet! Thank you, boo! Alright, let's find out about new blue guy. That's a Dark Bones! It's the baddest of the Bones gang! Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 2. When its HP goes down to 0, it collapses into a pile, but it will eventually rise again. Fire and explosions will put a permanent end to it, getting back up though. Its HP is high, so it's hard to take it down. Like any other Bones, it sometimes builds friends if it feels outnumbered. It's a pretty tough enemy. You'd better take it out and its buddies all at... 
take it and its buddies out all at once. Ooh, dodgy. Hey, dodgy. Thank you, dodgy. Yeah, make fun of it a little bit, but dodgy is a good effect. Okay. Mario not looking the best. Aha! It's another of his friends down. Yeah, okay. So we use this one more time. bam de bam de bam Excellent. Then... We call upon Zababri. And knock this guy out for good as soon as his turn's over. Hey, dodgy. Hey, dodgy, dodgy. Ah! Woohoo! 28 experience. I can taste that next level up already. Thank you for the key. Let us through. Uh, yeah, this might be a good time for an item. Let's super shroom it up. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. Good exchange. Happy with the rate. And we gotta go through this nonsense two more times. Because there's two set of B-Bill blasters in this hallway. They just had to find ways to artificially inflate how long you have to be in here even more. Yeah, they have to make the music good in a game like this, or else the player would just get so sick of it with how often you get pulled into battles. And I realize that I'm pulling myself into more battles than are probably strictly necessary for the completion of the game, but even then, it it could get pretty darn grating. Eat my hammer! And then, I think there is a little bit of a debate to be had if Bobbery is technically the best candidate for this. Because of the weird way that the damage calculation works that I've talked about to death. Yeah, he only does two damage. Coops would only do about two damage. Um, so, ever so technically, I think the best person I have to attack with them, or attack against that thing right now, would actually be Ms. Mouse of all people. For an interesting reason. Um... Because we just saw that Bobbery did two damage, and I know that Ms. Mouse is fairly universally disliked as a partner, but against relatively high defense enemies, she has uh, piercing damage. So, me doing this means that they're going to take the full four damage no matter who they are. And then we let Mario back in for the final hit. Look at all of the flowers. So many flowers. First, now I need someone. Ooh. I need coops. 
I definitely need coops. So now I only have to deal with two waves, or two, or one counter attack, and me getting one turn. Poof. I reduced damage by two with a normal dodge like that. Uh, okay. And just normal shell. And a hammer. I am good to go. Hey, level up. Now, I bet you'll never guess what I'm going to get now. Congratulations, you guessed correctly. <laughs> so, and for the express purpose of being able to put one of these on. Yay! So now I will find health and flowers after each uh, successful enemy that has been defeated. It's a wonderful system. Yes, yes, can't select the hammer. <sighs> By my own challenge rules, I can't select the hammer. You're ready. It's crazy to me to see that 999 coins number. I don't think I've ever achieved that before in uh, one of my playthroughs. Oh, oh, have I stumbled along the magic line? There it is, folks. The magic parallel line where you don't have to attack these things. Bam! <laughs> Nice. Yeah, so these things, defense is four, so Koops would only be able to do one damage. So yeah, Ms. Mouse is the only person on the team who can do more da or almost as much damage as Mario to these because she has the armor piercing. Uh, no one has a high enough attack rate in order to get past it. So, we swap partners out. Which is a little silly. But, oh well. Although I have an odd plan, yep, for if something like that were to happen. Where I'm going to power smash this guy. There. Badoof, 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 badoof. Okay. Oh, you've got to be joking. And then I was going to swap out for Flurry. Dude, we have not seen in a long time in combat. Uh, just, I hate the fog. I hate the fog. I hate, I like the fog. Um, well, plan was that by using Flurry, uh, she would do five damage to an aerial target, so the two defense of the bombshell bill would have been reduced down to uh, three and would have taken it out in one hit. Obviously, that did not occur. Uh, do I have any just plain out? Okay, we'll just exchange a jam and jelly for a jam and jelly. And a coin, apparently. Woohoo. Oh, to fight these things, to not fight these things. They're not giving me enough. Just move on. Go, go, go! 
Ah, uh, yes. An interesting puzzle that definitely taxes certain people's awareness of what is going on. Nope, nope. I think it's more fun if I don't say anything and if you are able to understand why I am taking the paths that I am. Wasn't that fun. Also, hi, Chain Chomps. Been a while since we've seen one of you. Also, very easily palette swappable. We depart one bizarre room only to find another. This area is like a massive underground city, hmm? What is this place? Trixie. This place is Trixie. Okay. So, first thing to do get out the Bobbery. Thank you, Bobbery. A bluey. Yeah, always best when you find uh, pipes in the background to look for any structure that could be a pipe in the foreground. Hello, Mr. Jane Jump. What are you doing today? Watch out. Four damage. Yeah, how much health they have. But there's one easy way to find out. I am so happy to have the quick swap badge. That is such a good badge. I will not hear otherwise. That's a chain chomp. I'd hate to get chomped by those teeth. They look nasty. Max HP is 7, attack is 6, and defense is 5. Its body is hard, so most attacks won't do much. Plus, you can't damage it with fire and ice attacks. You can freeze it, though. Luckily, it has low HP, so you could take it down with a special move or an item. Chomp chomps are, like, so super pumped all the time. Don't they ever get tired? That was supposed to be Chain Chomps, but whatever. Okay, so two hits from the hammer, or... Not a whole lot else. Aha! I think I have had times where I've basically just been able to do one damage multiple times over and over and over to these guys in order to really take them down. It's super frustrating that way, but it is possible. Uh, oh. Uh, I want to swap out, and I think the bobber do it with the least amount of mechanics. Bam. I was wrong. Ow. Curse my hubris. Oop. Wow. Didn't even get the stylish move. How embarrassing. Okay. There we go. Yeah, their spread is huge. Well, if you've been paying attention, I think you know what this means. I have to change my tactic a little bit. Instead of using 
the one damage from Bobbery. I've got to pull out my ringer for creatures with insanely high defense. Here we go. Ow. I couldn't have gotten the extra hearts power up. Um, not hurt by fire. Yeah, let's just do this the normal way. One of those semi unfortunate circumstances that, uh, because of the odd number of enemies, I can, I still have to endure one round no matter what. Well, the odd number of enemies and not getting one of the perfect guards against one of the chain chomps. Um, ice. Because uh, if I had, <clears throat> excuse me, if I had gotten the perfect guard, then I could have done the super hammer on him, or not the super hammer. You know what I mean, the power smash, and uh, knocked him out in one go, and then not had to have worried about taking that extra round in combat. Because at the end of the day, it's all a numbers game. Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -bow. Okay. Here we go. Oh, our first look at a wizard. And it has a time stop? You kidding me? Luckily, can I, uh, wait, I should be, okay, I can hammer it normally. Let's get Goombella out here so we can get the skinny on these guys, because they are frustrating. I just, I want to get rid of that uh, stopwatch. That's a dark wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries old thing. The max HP is 10, attack is 5, defense is 2. Uh, it uses magic to attack and to alter your condition, so stay on guard. If there's only one left, it'll multiply itself to confuse you. I know they look totally goofy, but they're actually pretty tough enemies. Yes, yes they are. Especially that whole uh, multiplying themselves if they're the last one on the field because their animations are such that like the only good ways of ferreting out who it are or who the thing is is to do uh, Koops's uh, power shell. I think is really the only tried and true because it hits all the ground-based enemies in that line. So you'll reveal who it is, but that's also three FP that you have to use every time you want to try and attack this thing. Swap the partner out. Or the mouse. <sighs> you actually don't even need to do a whole lot on that one. Uh, I think they're expecting you to uh, just use your thumb in order to go back and forth. Uh, what I found easiest over time is to take basically the three middle fingers on my left hand, put the ring and index finger 
on the outside with the middle finger on top and then just wiggle my wrist back and forth. And that seems to do a pretty good job of uh, getting that to happen with the least amount of strain to me. That was a nice little room. I'm except, er, expecting a save block at any moment here. Oh, hello, friend. Were you left on your own? Here, allow me to put you out of your misery. When did I lose coins? I appear to be missing two coins. I have returned- Oh, 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 oh. Uh, when I did the full HP and FP restore, I used 10. That's what it was. Okay. I remember. I remember. I mean, not that 10 is even a drop in the bucket. It's basically a percent of my entire funds right now. There's that little bit of a weird rounding error because uh, it goes up to 999 and not 1,000. Oh, thank you. Doesn't do a whole lot, but it's always nice to see that pop up. Aw, you gonna heal yourself, buddy? You feeling tired? Well, I can assure you that you'll be resting soon in the afterlife. Also, it looks like I'm not gonna get a level up before this next big fight. Alright, and I wonder why they put a save block here. Whatever could this mean? Who are you? Oh boy. Hey, it's a pellet swapped hooktail. No one's disturbed me here in... Aeons, who dares defile this sacred place? Um, isn't that Hooktail? I know we beat it before. It coughed up my dad. What's it doing back? What? You've destroyed my precious younger sister. I wondered why she hadn't written recently. Okay, I realize that there have been cracks forming in the seal on the Palace of Shadow, but who is it that was sending their mail between them? And how did they get inside? We can fear mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. Have at you. <laughs> my first fresh meat in ages. Allow me to take my time and toy with you a while. Alrighty. Uh, well, who saw that coming? Everybody? Okay. I like to know about my creatures. That's Gloomtail. I think he's Hooktail's brother. I see the family resemblance. Max HP is 80, attack is 8, and defense is 2. 
Uh, he'll bite or stomp you, and he may also breathe poison on you. Hey, when his HP gets low, he may throw in some other attacks as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Especially watch out for his mega breath move, because the word is it's gnarly. He also stores power for some attacks, so use Vivian to hide to avoid those attacks. And here's where we get into a little bit of that thing that I mentioned before about uh, Mario's turn getting skipped uh, and it almost not being worth it to use the Vivian Veil because it guarantees that one of Mario's attacks is going to get skipped. Uh, so oftentimes it's better to use it with her first and then uh, have Mario hit back after the fact. Uh, but for now, uh, we've got... Let's do some lifting. It's time to pump you up. Three damage! And a little bit of extra defense. Nice, nice. Uh, also, ow! Ow! Uh, give Mario an extra attack. Nah, let's just... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay. Well, so much for that. Uh, and then, I think... Yeah, this is still Mario's best move. Because I don't have, uh, multi-bounce, which is the... Oh, 12 damage, and it's got two defense. Uh, if only I was jumping on this guy. Ow. I thought I dodged, or er, blocked that. But he does a lot of damage. That, that is a lot of damage. Uh, well... Second verse, same as first. Ow. Oh, missed some. Um, unfortunately, I think this is my last turn of this, but, you know. What a great couple turns it is. Under half health, and I've only been able to attack it twice. <laughs> you are tough meat, my little tasty morsels. But how will you fare against this? Oh, great. She was lucky. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, so all of that is gone now. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm inclined to just say put it back. Give it back to me. I require extra damage and defense. Hopefully actually getting a little bit extra defense this time than... Man, the timing is weird. You have to wait for the reticle to completely pause before uh, you can hit the next icon. Alright, well, hey, more defense and same attack boost. Perfect. And I actually get an extra round for uh, Goombella out of this. Awesome. Nice. Ugh. You are not the easy prey you appear to be. I would never be able to show my face again if I was bested by you, Helps. So I will show you the true extent of my power. Oh boy. Do I dare? Oh, I dare. I do, in fact, dare. I need to do nine damage with Goombella this turn. Watch me mess this up. 
with the extra stylish moves involved. Eat it. No. No. Is it true? Can I expire? You're darn tootin', buddy. <laughs> Bam. And just like his sister, he coughs up the goods. And if you didn't know, there's a little crack in this wall. One of those things that you can find out about with uh, Ms. Mao's if you're doing a true completionist playthrough where you check every screen you've ever been on. No, just an ultra shroom. Oh, might as well. And just jam and jelly? Yep, jam and jelly. There's a part of me that dies a little inside for having to do that because uh, when I would be playing this on my own, um, I would have done the cooking mini game or haven't gotten ready for it. And those items, the jam and jelly and the ultra shrooms, are ludicrously expensive. So just saying no to those and letting them float on by uh, is is a little soul crushing. Fairly certain you can. There's only two places in the game that you can buy those. You can buy them in the underground shop, and you can buy one each from Charlie, the special deals merchant in Rogueport. So. I think in the underground shop, they're over 200 coins, and then if you buy them from Charlie, they're like 180 each, which is still super expensive. Alrighty. Uh, I want to grab this health. Ooh, okay, there we go. Alright, those with motion sickness, look away! As the spiral goes a spinning. Oh look, a convenient place for that crystal that we just picked up. Mario, check that out. It's an astrolabe. Whoa, it's gigantic, huh? What the heck is it? It's an astrolabe. At least, I think it's an astrolathe. And the creepy pillars that emerge from the floor. Connected to the eight doorways that we just passed on the way up here. All of which contain a fairly simple puzzle as long as you're paying attention. And test your memory of things that you've done in the past. This one is simply break one block. Now the trick, actually, to these is you ignore the blue text. So, for our purposes of the puzzle, it's four stones, twin stones, two are one, one is two. Uh, and then the blue text, which is the flavor text, and I think if you are able to stitch it all together, uh, it will make some form of paragraph or poem. So it is Can Live Again by the Stone. I don't think we're starting at the beginning of that paragraph. 
character that, uh... I don't think it would be called a limerick. I'm not sure if that... Or I, I am not familiar with the eight-line poem. Okay, gotta not get you, gotta avoid you, and there we go. I happen to know that you need to kill these in the order of weakest to strongest. So that's why I avoided everything else. So that guy only had one health. Or, I think it's the order that you encountered them, actually, not strictly weakest to strongest, although this guy could still be weaker than the Dry Bones. Let's find out. If he goes down in one hit, then he, we know for certain that he's weaker than his uh, Dry Bones. He's weaker than the Dry Bones! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Answer found. Okay, so... Now that I've got a second... Eh. Let fall the weakest, then build to the strongest. Uh, so, the dull bones, red bones, dry bones, dark bones, I think is what they called the blue one. And you have to be careful when I get the first hit in, but I don't want to accidentally hit the wrong one. No, oh, I can't jump. Why do I keep trying to push A on that one? Oh, bam! Ooh, 10 points away. Uh, and then, bam! If I remember rightly, you've got a lot of health. Yeah, you've, you've got too much health. And they have seen fit to name you Dark Bones. Yep, okay. Dark Bones. Oh, flam. Oh, nope, nope, not you. Not you. Uh, back to Bobbery, please. Oof, left it with two health. Unfortunate. Ow. Sorry, Bobbery. And one more hit, and we bring it home. Her spooch. And five points away. Five points away from the next level. Yay. And it's just that simple. He get Here's an odd thought. I understand that this trope was basically started by Link from the Legend of Zelda, and the first Legend of Zelda at that, but why is it protagonists feel the urge to hold aloft, or hold to the skies, not just aloft? But to the skies, whatever item that they procure from a chest. I don't know. Straight on, straight onward. Destroy all in your path. Hmm, well, seems like I got the right guy out in front. It must be blowed up. Yay, And the blue text says, We know the stars spurn us. Ooh. The stars are not happy. Uh, and your prompt is, the shy one hides his shape, the shy one hides his face. And then, but the stars bring balance. So, they don't like you, but they balance you. <laughs> Whatever. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> no, 
dice. Another palace key. Alright. Now we go to the neck er, to the bottom floor. And unfortunately we have to do the transition to from top to bottom one more time because of that block puzzle. Uh alright, what do you got for me? All you see isn't all there be. Touch it to pass through it. And then stones have powers of stars. Wow. Here's a question. How far does this illusion go? Okay, the entire wall is not there. I was expecting just a portion of it to be solid, but no. Apparently you can walk through the whole thing. Okay. Oh. Aha. Yep. And this says, The unseen may yet be felt, be it here, be it there. Uh. So that we the Great Ones. What do the Great Ones want? And how do we reveal unseen things? With flurry. Alright, one more puzzle room before the two block puzzles get completed. Ah, yes. Beyond, 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 before, before. Complete all seven. So, beyond, beyond, beyond before before as you look at it from the perspective of the door the one on the left is beyond the one on the right and the one on the right is before the one on the left also I think piecing together that paragraph a little bit it might be talking about the reason for the crystal stars. What do you have to say? Master of Shadow and Dark. Huh. And then the puzzle prompt is the same, but... But now I feel a need for speed as I have to go up and down the stairs one more time. And without any kind of a speedrunner cheat, I know no way of, of avoiding this. Is it actually faster to do it without him because of the stuttering? Wonder. But yeah, you gotta break the block in front of this one in order to open up the block on the pedestal in the other room. And in the other room, you gotta break the block that uh, opens up this pedestal so that you can then go back down and hit the block for the chest. Hit the action block, not the, the stone block. That releases this action block. And that's the last one. Alice Key. Now we go through the process of stuffing all the keys and holes. Oop. There we 
we go. And now we have released the stars. Whoa, it's moving! And not that they can see it. Huh? What? But a staircase is appearing. Boom, 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 What was that? Destiny, Miho. Destiny. Okay, here we go. Time to go meet Destiny. After this short little boat trip, which is easier if you have a hex gate on your controller. Boat is very sensitive to switches between left and right. And just no reason, but I'm gonna save real quick. No cause for alarm, no cause for alarm. Saving? Who's that? Uh-oh. We've been waiting for you, Mario. Oh, Professor Frankly? What are you doing here? Thank you so much for opening the door for us, Mario. Yes, that was nice. Thanks to your do-gooder predictability, my plan is progressing very smoothly. Opening the door for you? What do you mean by that, you purple witch? <laughs> So you still don't see it. Ah, such fools. The Professor Frankly you were with when you opened the thousand-year door was none other than this little freak in a sheet. Uh, my name is Duplis, but... <laughs> the real Frankly is sleeping off a nasty bump on the head in a closet somewhere. Poor thing. And once we get rid of you here, our plan will be nearly complete. Ready for the end, my dears? You and that traitor Vivian have a date with eternity. Uh -huh. That's right, Slick. Eternity. Shut up, freak. Oh, okay. Right. Sorry. No way. We go down, sister. You want a piece of this? Bring it on. Come, my sort of lovelies. Marilyn, freak sheets. Good. I said my name's Duplis. <laughs> oh, you poor guy. I feel so bad for you. All right, my kind of lovelies. This time we take out Mario and his goon squad for good. So, if I catch you slacking, you'll be in for incredible punishment come tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's nice. Uh, okay, and I already have all of that information because I uh, made sure to get there what was going on earlier. Um, well... Second verse, same as the first. Since this did so incredibly well for me, I just realized that I have to keep him out now because the partner thing doesn't transfer. I feel like a fool. So close to four, but I will take that. Uh, and then I think that, yeah. All right. Yeah, and 
now the stylish moves actually come into play a little bit because I need to uh, get some of that FP I just used back. Gah! Curse you, Mario! This is so very annoying. Blast it! Let's see, I was able to do, I think that was 13 damage across all of them, which. Oh. Oh, Mario's frozen. Uh, that'll be f fine, I think. So, about 12 damage, yeah, about 12 damage to each of them with one attack. So 12 times 3 is 36 damage total. Ah! Drop my controller! It's too bad this doesn't break Mario out of freeze. Of course, he's going to spend his turn just turning into Mario again. Like he wants a piece of this or something. Are you okay, Madeline? Good. Mm -hmm. Hey, you freak sheet. Pull it together, will you? Don't make me punish you. S sorry. Go away. He's not Mario. Yay. So much for your charge. Uh, oh, great. So not only was I frozen, but I have less chances to attack. I... Well, if at first you succeed, do it again and again and again. Because I know for certain this takes out Beldum. And I just have to deal with the others, and I'll switch to Koops to do that. I'm losing my defense anyway. <laughs> I leave the rest to you. Ow. Uh, oh. Well, if you're just gonna give it to me, why switch out? Ha bam! That was the only damage Mario contributed that whole fight. Mm -hmm. 48 experience. Or no, 47. 47 experience for that. Darn toot and I get a level up. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> Uh, at this rate, she will never... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Serves you right. Okay. And with that, I'm going to save. And with a very successful series of boss fights, I am going to call it there, folks. Uh... Really do appreciate anyone who decides to watch this, especially if you make it all the way to the end. Uh, this is just a passion project after all, so I do it because I, I'm having fun. So if you're having fun too, that's great. But until next time, this is Philemon, signing out.